The timeline for an ESC accelerator application can be completely individual to any single company because it is very hard to predict who's going to be rejected in which step and which company is going to skip a deadline. So just as a very short summary of how a timeline can look like if everything goes well, let's say we start in month zero. So this would be step one of the ESC accelerator. It takes about one month to prepare the application. It can be done faster, but it's usually good to take your time because obviously you are not just writing the step one application, but you're already already planning the step two application, which is going to take a lot of input from step one, but also the evaluation obtained in step one by the evaluators is obviously going to stick to the project for the entire timeline. So it's good to take your time. After one month, you can submit the step one application. Then if you already know how step two looks like, then you can already start step two, which is good because the evaluation of step one can take a long time. It can take maybe just five days, maybe it takes a month. It's a little unpredictable, but let's say you have all the templates, then you would already start step two in month one. After one month, you obtain the step one result. Hopefully it's a go. Usually it should be a go because step one is very, very simple. The bar is actually really, really low because a company only needs to convince two out of four evaluators. In month three, now we have finished the step two application. So two months have been invested into writing the step two application. Now we can submit step two. Of course, it has to fit the deadline because while step one is open all the time, step Step two has specific cutoffs. So these are deadlines when an application can be submitted. But let's say coincidentally, it's exactly in month three. Then after about one month, you obtain the result of your step two application. So that would be in month four. So now obviously if it was passed, you'll be invited to the interview. The interviews again are fixed in time. There's always very specific interview weeks when companies are going to be invited. Let's say it's about one month after obtaining results. So now this is month five. Now I can give you a pitch in front of the EIC jury and then you have to wait another month to get the result. Let's say then you get the go, the project is funded and everything was successful. This is actually a very fast case. This took six months to go through the whole process, but this is one of the fast examples. If you have a rejection in any of the steps or more than one rejection or you skip a deadline, this whole timeline can easily be double or triple. But once the program is funded, then of course comes the KYC, the due diligence, preparing the grant agreement contract. So there's also afterwards a of stuff. So the EIC accelerator is not a fast moving program. It's still going to take time for many companies, especially in the deep tech space. It's obviously very much worth it. So any company applying to the EIC accelerator should take that into account. Thanks for watching.